Betty, tell me, you, I mean, you seem to be sinking your teeth into Elka. You're enjoying playing the character of Elka, a little different than Sue Ann Nivens, a little different than Rose from Golden Girls? Bless your heart, I hope, I hope that's true, because they always, you know, I'm, Elka is a smart-ass character, and I'm trying to keep her away from those other two ladies whom I love very much. And, uh, but thanks to Suzanne, she gives me such an opportunity to, find, because as the show has evolved, Elka started out, she was sort of a heavy. She was really yeah, yeah. a villain. Yeah. But as it, as it has evolved, she has gotten as hooked on these other ladies as they are on each other. So we're really a foursome. Yeah, we're it's, really it's a, so, a group it, it, that would stand up against the world to well, it's support really each other. It's really hard for Betty to play a heavy anyway. Yeah. I mean, seriously. <laughs> have you looked lately? <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you didn't have hot dogs on Friday night? <laughs> <laughs> Your red vines. No, it's so it's so ridiculous the idea that she's the caretaker. I mean, I don't even it's, it's, you know the, the, yeah. what is she doing? She's never done anything. Well, seriously, three women living in <laughs> yeah. Cleveland in a house by themselves. Yeah. I mean, don't right, try there's, to there's, dig in too yeah, far about what was the reality the of this show. If you have a chance to have Betty White on your show, I, go for it. Whatever. <laughs> well, the fun thing is that um, it's it's really fun for me that we also get to employ a lot of actors on the show that are not in their 20s, you know, yeah. and, and it's, it's kind of interesting. It, it, <laughs> and um, literally every week we get a call from some gentleman, let's say 65 plus, who wants to date Betty on the show. <laughs> so we, we actually you have a list. You told me that. <laughs> For what reason? Have you taken any of the numbers? Yeah, well, 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 yeah. <laughs> we assume once the <laughs> But you've done really, I mean, especially for a show with, you know, fantastic, really finely drawn characters, you've done so well with your guest stars. Mary Tyler Moore, Bonnie oh. Franklin, John Lovitz, the old Spice guy, yeah. who was great. The old Spice guy is on this Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Isaiah's on tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, forgive me. So, well, oh, no, okay. that's fine. That's but, uh, I mean, really, you know, for, so it, seems, it sounds like you've got quite a selection of people calling to, and people that you can really work in great, just great comedic have situations. All Love it. Some of our was... past shows that we want. I mean, yeah. I still want Pat Harrington and Mackenzie Phillips to come mm -hmm. on. You I've still... had, yeah, I've yeah. had um, Carrie Gilpin. Right. And I'm, I'm, John Mahoney. Can I say we're getting? Oh John yeah, next, Mahoney. next week John yeah. Mahoney's on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I'm holding out for Enrico Colantoni oh, and, uh, yes. Yes, that's and Laura Sandra yeah. Cummel. I would yes, love yes. to play my daughter. No, I, I want her to be, be my great. daughter. Well, I think she could be my stepdaughter. Could be really <laughs> my daughter. Your sister. Your daughter. Yes, your sister. Your sister. Whoa, what are you, insane? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you notice I haven't gotten into this. I'll just take the leftovers. <laughs> Like Carl Reiner. No. Yeah, right. Oh, Carl Reiner. Carl Reiner. Carl Reiner. Oh, and my gosh. Opening up with Mary Tyler Moore in prison. I, now that's pretty good for the season great. opener. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's I'm, pretty good. I'm biding my time on, on uh, asking Suzanne what the uh, cliffhanger is going to be for season two into season three. Because I already know the cliffhanger to hold us over the summer, but oh, I have no idea one. what you're going to do. It's a big one. Oh, oh you big. know. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> Somebody's got to know. <laughs> I guess she would be the one. Yes, She'd right. One. So yeah. I'm dying to know what the cliffhanger is. It's big. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about that from a creative perspective, because like a lot of cable shows, you kind of have a, a split season. And the good news is you've, you've got a nice, fat 20, 22 episode yeah. order, but you split it over. Next week. Yes. A couple of months. Yeah. I mean, you know, the, the strongest broadcast network shows sweat out 13 and sweat out 9, and, and TV Land has really made quite a commitment to this show. But is that creatively challenging to, you know, you're going to have a bunch of episodes from January to yeah, it's, late it's March? It's really hard because most of the time you sort of look at maybe the last episode of 22 has a bit of a cliffhanger or something that will lead you into the next season. But we have to do it twice, and that's, I mean, you know. It, it's such a pleasure it's to see you do all well. this. It's a good that, problem to yeah, have. Yeah, it's a good problem to have. Mm -hmm. But um, it well. does, you kind of have to lead it up and then pick it up, and it's, it's a little different. Because the cliffhanger that, that's coming in a couple of weeks is really good. It is good. It's really good. I don't know what it is. How do you know yes, this? You, you filmed it. You, oh, I was in it. 